Hi, my name is Adele Reworks, Senior UX Architect here with Online Business Systems. I'd like to talk to you today about MVPs, Minimum Viable Products. For many of us, we see MVP as the minimum offering we'll put in front of users, a stripped back version of features that we spend a few months building, release to the world, and then keep going. I'd like to propose we define MVP slightly differently as a minimum viable process. It's the process we go through to create that initial product. And my boss might hate me for saying this, but it's not software at all. It likely starts with a conversation, many conversations. Maybe it incorporates a sketch or a prototype. But you see, in order to build a viable product of any sort, we need to start identifying who's gonna use the product, who's gonna buy it, what they're gonna do with it, and why should they care? Getting to the heart of your user base is the key to a successful product launch. Once you've got that down, you can figure out how it can be built and the business model to support it. There are a lot of risks in building a software product and minimal viable process is how we go about validating the direction to avoid the risk. It's the foundation of the fail fast ethos I'm sure you've heard about. This process for building a product can feel like a bit of a winding road and it can be really overwhelming even for seasoned innovators. You've got tons of ideas, input, inspiration, and data points coming your way. There's tons of pressure to succeed while you simultaneously are trying to get clear about what you're doing and being open to possibilities. I encourage you to focus on the value proposition. There's no point in testing technology or business models if no one wants what you're proposing. This means keeping what you're building, who you're building it for, what they're using it for, and why they care about it at the heart of your process. And it starts with writing it down. Write down your UVP. Write down what you know to be true and what you think might be true. Highlight the areas that will cause you the biggest risk if you're wrong. Now write down how you're going to test those to make sure that they'll work or not work. Let's prove it now. Write down how you're going to measure those results. Write down what a positive result looks like. Then conduct the test and evaluate. It sounds a bit boring and a bit methodical, but it's the best way to stay grounded. Ideas and inspiration have a way of growing. New data enters the picture, more team members, and the next thing you know, you're off in one direction while your team's in another direction and nobody knows what you're doing. <laughs> Writing things down and methodically building on your knowledge creates a strong foundation built on real data. It's okay and totally expected that things will change. And what you think you're building today and what you end up building later look completely different. But it's important that this product is built on a strong foundation of knowing. Knowing who your users are, knowing what they want and why they want your product. So that by the time you start building your initial product, you will be very clear and very certain about what you're building. This is how you keep your minimum viable product, both minimum and viable. If you're looking for assistance navigating the chaotic world of product development and innovation, take advantage of our Ask an F Expert offering. <laughs> Online has a ton of subject matter experts in innovation, user experience, software architecture, and project planning, and are able to help you with your minimum viable product and the process to get you there. Thanks.